Hi there, welcome back. Today I will show you how to create video collage using the Collage Fusion template I created in DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve already has a video collage tool built in, you may ask why I'm creating this template again. The biggest thing with this built-in video collage effect is that it doesn't have on-screen controls to lay out the tiles. You have to use these sliders in the inspector. Another little thing is that the control parameters are pretty complex, it could be intimidating for some people. So I created my own collage fusion template with similar features, but with the on-screen controls and a more streamlined parameter layout in the inspector. The setting parameters are simply grouped into four sections, layout, tile, border, and shadow. The top button is used to switch the collage mode between tile mode and background mode. Both modes share most of the settings, except that a few tile-specific parameters are only used in tile mode. To make it easy to see the effect in the viewer, we can disable the other tracks first. Simply press D to disable and enable the clip. In the layout section, Use the number rows and columns to set the layout tiles. After the rows and columns are changed, we can click the Reset Layout button to initialize the size and position of the tiles. The maximum rows and columns are 5. For this demo, let's set the layout to 3 by 3. We can adjust the layout with these parameters in the inspector. But as I mentioned at the beginning, I prefer to change the layout directly in the viewer. Turn on the Fusion Overlay, we now see a few controls appear in the viewer. We can use this box to change the tile size. Or move the tile with this center control. And we can rotate the tile. To adjust the spaces and staggers between rows and columns, we can use these two controls. This control at the bottom left is used to move and rotate the image inside the tile. You can find the control parameters in the tile section. Choose a tile from the drop-down list, from 1 to 25. Only use the numbers that are defined by the layout. In this case, we can use the tile number 1 to number 9. When the Auto Fit Image option is enabled, the clip will fit the tile automatically, and we can still adjust scale if necessary. Soft Edge is used to soften the tile edge. And we can round the tile corner by increasing the corner radius value. Border and shadow controls are straightforward, not much to talk about here. Please note that you can choose different color types for the border. Once we are happy with the collage design, we must hide the tiles. Otherwise, they will be included as part of the final result. Make a copy of the clip. Enable the other three clips and select all of them. Press Alt-V or Option-V to open the Paste Attribute dialog window. Make sure Fusion Effects is checked. Press to Apply to confirm. Select each of them and go to the Inspector. In the Effects tab, select the tile where you want them to be. All right, we now have a video collage with rotated tiles. If we want to add some animation to the tiles, we can apply the effect just as we do with any other clips. For example, apply the transition at the beginning of the clip. Stagger the clips so that they have a different starting time. Or we can apply some continued animation for the entire clip duration. Apply the essential animation and set up a loop swing effect. Okay, 
Now let's talk about background mode. Let's take this clip as an example, it was previously used as the background. Apply the collage effect and switch to the background mode. You can see there are holes punched in the clip, showing the image behind. Which is black for now, since there is no clip underneath yet. Similarly, we can use the on-screen controls to set up the layout. In this mode, we only need to define the layout in the background clip. Let's move it up. Remove the effects from these clips. Move them down below the background clip. Move and transform the clips below so that they appear in different windows. To do this efficiently, we turn on the transform overlay in the viewer. Use the transform controls the resize and transform the clip to fit the window. It may look like it's less to do in this mode, but it lacks the control of individual tile clips. If we want to animate the tiles, it has to be done inside the effect, like what the video collage 2 does. I haven't done that yet, because I can always use the tile mode with much more flexibility. Depending on what you want, you can choose either mode to create your video collage. Alright, that's all for today. You can download the template through the link in the description, I hope you like it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.